Welcome to Black Creek Homestead. Four years ago, we made a huge life change. We quit our jobs and moved up north to build a house and homestead from scratch on vacant land we purchased. We together built our dream home and are still creating our dream homestead. Come and follow along our journey. We have so much planned and can't wait to share it all with you. This is the week. I think we're ready, but I'm not 100% sure. Our building inspector is coming this week to hopefully sign us off on our occupancy. This has been like something Cody and I have been dreading because we did the whole build ourselves. We know everything's to code, but we just don't know if we're missing something because we don't do this on a regular basis. So fingers crossed that we have all our T's crossed and I's dotted and that we'll have occupancy by the end of this week. One of the things that was holding us back was we had to get this control panel for our HRV system. So that is finally installed and good to go. Another thing we were waiting on was to get the stair railing in, which that's now in. So that's good to go. Install our crawl space door um so that we're doing tonight hopefully and besides that i think that's everything we need to put on a bit of trim but you don't need that for occupancy and hopefully we pass so wish us luck so these were all the stages that we had to have them out to complete so we've done all these and now we're at our occupancy one, so that's the last one to get. Today is the day that the building inspector is coming. I think we have it looking fairly empty in here and hopefully that'll do. We ended up making our own because we couldn't find a door that we liked that had a vent. So we ended up just buying this floor vent and putting it into the door just so we do have airflow down into the crawl space. But really happy with how it turned out. We went with a rustic look like all our other doors where it's rough. Wish us luck today. Occupancy, here we come. So the inspector came on Wednesday and we had a couple things that we needed to fix for our occupancy. So the first thing was the staircase requires a continuous handrail throughout the whole entire staircase. I don't know why we didn't think of this. We knew it had to be done, but it kind of just got forgotten. So we have to get that in for sure. The HVAC requires a condensation pump and be drained to ABS drain. That we also knew about, but we just put a pail under hoping that that would suffice and it did not. <laughs> so Cody has gone out to go buy one of those pumps and he'll get that hooked up tonight. Pressure relief valve on the demand hot water heater requires a pipe added on that goes to the floor. That Cody also knew we needed, but we just forgot to extend it down. We ended up plumbing it out, but we forgot to extend it downwards. So all very easy fixes and hopefully when they come back on Monday, we'll be able to get our occupancy. Because our staircase wasn't continuous, 
Like for example, here, we had to have a hand railing that was continuous all the way where you don't have to lift your hand when going up the stairs. That's done, check. Next thing on the list was our HVAC system required a pump to be able to pump all the condensation that the HVAC brings in from outside up and into a ABS drain. So this is where it comes out. So once this fills enough, it will pump it out and into a drain. This is where the HVAC comes up and puts it into this drain here from the ground. And then this pipe here is our pressure release. So that goes to the floor. So this is what we had plumbed in and we just didn't extend it down because we had forgotten. So that is all good to go too. So those three things are off our list and we are ready for the building inspector to come back and give us our occupancy. How exciting is that? We have waited four years for this and we're so close. It's like we can taste it. <laughs> so we cannot wait. Good morning. It's here the day we get our occupancy. Oh my gosh, this is such a great feeling. The building inspector is coming back around noon, I believe, and Cody's meeting him here. So yeah, I'm just, I don't even know what to feel right now. It's just such a crazy feeling to think that after finally four years, we have occupancy of our house that we worked so hard to accomplish. I think it's important to look back at the last four years because it's kind of been a blur. So here's a recap of our last four years of our build. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. Oh, the good times just begun. Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. This is important to add because we showered outside for two winters. But anyways, it's been a crazy ride. It's amazing to see the property and look at how it's changed over the last four years. Cody just texted me and told me that we got occupancy, which is so exciting. I can't wait to go home and finally decorate and make our house feel homey. And also get a flipping Christmas tree this year. That's perfect! Yeah. It's a lot of no. All right, before. <clears throat> Not many people know, but when Cody and I first started our build, he started growing his beard. And we said that when we got occupancy, he would shave his beard off. So guess what's happening tonight? We got occupancy today and the beard is coming off. It's been four years of him growing this beard, so. I haven't seen him without a beard for four years. It's gonna be weird, <laughs> but good.
right, turn around and show the camera. <laughs> yep. Good morning. We have occupancy in our house. First morning with occupancy. It's such a great feeling. We've definitely had a busy week with getting occupancy. Cody shaving his beard and just getting the Christmas tree. So it's been a great week so far and 2023 is coming to an end, but we definitely are proud of our accomplishments this year and we can't wait to see what next year has in store for us. So that is it for this video and we'll see you in the next one.